What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? So since it's the bye week, right, and we're talking about trading and possibly making moves, bringing some new guys to the Minnesota Vikings, um, you know, I figured this, right? What about a guy named William Jackson III? So I did some research. He's kind of having conflict in Washington. He doesn't want to be there. He requested for a trade about a week ago. Um, and, And I said earlier in my last video, actually, with OBJ, I said, look, I would rather bring in a defensive back that's solidified, that's kind of solid. You know what I mean? Not nobody, not an experiment type player, but somebody who's proven they can play the position. Somebody that can bring value right away. And um, William Jackson III is definitely that guy. Now, the price has to be right. I don't know if he's looking for a certain amount of money um, because we just won't do that because I feel like our cornerbacks are pretty decent, especially not knowing what Booth can bring yet. So Booth Jr., we still don't know what he can bring. Of course, we're expecting him to be a superstar type player. I mean, everybody's expecting him. He was supposed to be a first round pick. So, you know, we're expecting him to be able to step in. Um, a Caleb Evans, another good cornerback that we have that we're expecting to see good things from. So this could bring conflict of interest, but still yet. Yeah, it's still a guy that's available that could be a possibility that I wouldn't be mad if we brought him in maybe to compete for the slot position something like that but this is what it is he's mad at Washington because they don't play enough man-to-man so that's where the conflict might come in because our defensive style is not really too much man-to-man either we like zone and we're playing the shell defense don't let nothing get behind you um and it's It might not fit, so I don't know if we'll be a good option for him. But at the end of the day, if he's willing to come to a team that's winning, for one, I mean, that's one of the main things. You want to come to a winning team, bro, that has a chance to actually do something this year, come on into the purple. Just make the price right, dog. Don't make it all about the money. Make it about you wanting to contribute to a team that has everybody that plays for each other, a brotherhood, great coach. Um, And you can contribute, man, because I think he's solid. So he got drafted in 2017 by the Cincinnati Bengals, had a couple solid years, went to Washington last year in particular, had a good year in Washington. Okay, this year starting out slow. He didn't even play Thursday night last Thursday night because he's not wanting to be with the team. So this is a guy that obviously teams are probably calling, trying to get him, Um, you know, and I know Quasi's Quasi's making moves. Um, there's a guy there's a guy that we signed today um, it's a, a linebacker rookie linebacker we got off Kansas City's practice squad guy that was on the Rams practice squad I think his name is Benton if I'm not mistaken um, but it's like dog like I mean Benton Whitley all right Benton Whitley outside linebacker it's like I mean come on he's a rookie okay he got he didn't even get drafted this year so He's a rookie. There's no telling what he can bring to the table, but that's the roster spot that we filled because we were at 52 this morning. He made it 53, so he's the lucky winner. But my thing is this. If we can get our hands on a guy like William Jackson III, I think it would make an impact. You know what I mean? Like I said, he wants to do, he wants to play a certain style of defense. So first of all, we have to make sure that our defense, you know, can, can fulfill his dreams. All right, but... Let's go over this, man, for his career. Okay, he's played 75 games. All right, 124, or let me see. He has, let's see here, game started 64. He has five total interceptions. I mean, it's not like, it's not like this guy is a Hall of Fame or anything. You feel me? Like, I mean, he's not like a Hall of Famer, but he's a solid guy that I see a lot of other content creators from other teams are wanting him, though. You know what I mean? So obviously he might not be the hottest commodity, but I think he's one of those guys where if you can get the, get him for the right price, it would be like, hey, that was a good pickup. You know what I mean? Almost like the Shannon Sullivan pickup that we did in the offseason. I think it would be similar to that pickup. But um, watching him, he might be a little better than Shannon Sullivan. He's a little more physical, just a really 
a really good player, man, in a way. You know, he's good at what he does. He likes playing man defense. So maybe if we ever get in those opportunities, we can slide him in there and use him for man defense. You feel me? But um, y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Should William Jackson the third get a call from Kwesi Adolfa Mensa? Should we bring him to the purple? Okay, would you be mad if we brought in William Jackson the third? Should we put our bid in? Let me know down in the comment section, man. Make sure I hit that subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the like button. You already know. Skull Vikings. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Appreciate everybody for tapping into the Purple Pocket Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. Purple Gang.